What's going on guys, Tmart here, and today I'm bringing you guys an episode of the Call of Duty Ghost Gun Guide. The series will go through all the weapons in Call of Duty Ghost, breaking them down, giving you guys the most important stats and opinions to help you create better class setups and do better in Ghost, all in three minutes or less. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Honey Badger, one of the uh, the more unique assault rifles in the game, and definitely one of my favorites. This is my go-to weapon if I want to stay stealthy, because of that integrated silencer, there's no need to waste an attachment on staying off the radar. So anyway, starting off with the iron sights. They're actually pretty good in this weapon. They're one of my favorites. So it's the super open, you know, three-pronged trident. And for the most part, it's not really gonna obstruct your view. I mean, you know, obviously if you run like a red dot sight or a hybrid scope or something like that, it's gonna give you a slight advantage. But for the most part, if you wanna use iron sights and put on other attachments, this gun is very good for doing so. Now, uh, next up for damage, you do 42 up close and 20 to the distance, which makes it a three shot kill up close and a five shot kill to distance, which is pretty average for assault rifles. There are some that are slightly better than that. There are some that are slightly worse than that. But for the most part, this is kind of a run of the mill assault rifle in terms of damage. As for its rate of fire, it's above average at 800 rounds per minute, so that's a good thing. You're going to be able to put more shots down range and kill enemies even quicker. As for the recoil, this is where it gets pretty interesting. So I'm going to call it medium recoil, although it is very, very unique. So uh, if you look at the recoil plot right here, you can see it's pretty much like a big circle, which means it will bounce or kick in all 360 degrees. You know, it'll kick up or it'll kick down. You never really know where it's gonna go. Whereas most other weapons will kick only up and then either to the left or to the right. You know, they constantly shoot up. Whereas a honey badger, it kind of bounces around in a circle, which uh, I really like. I think it makes it, you know, technically have even less recoil because it seems like it constantly stays centered uh, in that circle rather than going up and shooting up into the sky. So uh, I like it, but it is interesting and it is something to get used to. For the most part, it's pretty average. It's pretty medium. Uh, next up for magazine size we've got 30 for regular magazines 45 for extended mags that's pretty much average for all the assault rifles a reload speed is slightly above average you know I never really run into any problems having to reload or running out of ammo or anything like that so a reload speed is 3.16 seconds when your mag is empty 2.63 seconds when your mag has at least one bullet left in it and then finally for the recommended class setup for this weapon as for attachments, there are two different setups that I really like to run depending on my mood. So one is red dot sight with grip. That's just your run of the mill attachment. Again, you have that integrated silencer. That thing is always good and it never really does me wrong. The second one is a little bit more specialized. It's a little bit more niche and that is the grip with the semi-auto attachment. This pretty much turns this weapon into a laser gun that's extremely, extremely accurate from long range. I actually did a video on that a while ago. I'll link it down in the description if you guys haven't seen it, and that is for perks. We've got Ready Up, Slide of Hand, Stalker, Quick Draw, and Focus, which are my normal perks for my assault rifle class setup. So there you guys have it. We are a few seconds under three minutes there. That's actually one of the quicker episodes we've done. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this video helps you out. Let me know what you guys think about the Honey Badger. Do you have different class setups you like to use that I didn't just mention? Leave them down in the comments and maybe we can all try something new. So thank you guys for watching so much. I'll catch you all later. Check out one of the other two videos if you haven't seen yet. Peace out, guys.